sort of along the line, uh, same lines there. Pat White, or Major Harris. So, so I'm gonna start this. Because, <laughs> here we go. One, I did this once. I had this debate like in detail uh, when we had Pat White. Uh, I mean, he, I've never personally, you know, seen anyone like him. Major, again, I wasn't. I was fairly young, eight, nine years old. He was way, way ahead of his time. Way, I mean, you know, he was Cam Newton before, way before him. But um, what he edges out Pat in one thing, he did lead us to a national championship. And so for a long time, I kept him a just like 1A, 1B. I kept him a notch above Pat. But, um, I, you know, once a couple years went by and the game you don't speak of mm. happened, you know, you got to look at the careers. Pat is just... It's just unreal. Four straight years, and and when he came in against Louisville, with, to do what he did, uh, to to win that game first of all, to yeah. come in that game, and maybe the most humble guy, you know, at least to the media and to the fans and all that stuff. So I gotta give it to old Patty, man, Pat White. Go for it. Who wants to do this? Are, are we all gonna agree on all these? Because I, I mean, yeah. I'm definitely Pat White. Yeah. So if you think about. Not only, okay, other than his senior year, and that's just because um, Bill Stewart hired a bum as an offense coordinator. He did. Um, so his first three years, not only did he win bowl games, but he won some of the most prestigious bowl games you can win. Sugar Bowl, Gator Bowl, Fiesta Bowl. And his first, it's not like he was winning uh, the, what, the Motor City Bowl or something like that. It's not like he was winning like, <laughs> Or the, Brent's always taking shots. <laughs> or the grass cutting bowl down there in Tampa, or the Hollow Bowl. I mean, he was. We were beating legit teams. So I agree. And then my my, obviously the Louisville game will always be like as far as in Mount Mirfield, greatest game I've ever watched. Texas maybe. <laughs> Sorry, Fred. I didn't work there. But that Texas game, Rance, we, Rance does listen to it. Yeah. <laughs> it was Rance's fault. It was Rance's wedding, and I was there. I wouldn't miss it. Yeah. But he, and he knew it, too. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, you're not, you're not going to forget me. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Texas game may be the greatest game that we all went to. But other than the Louisville game. The game I set that up. <laughs> <laughs> Good pattern here. Other than the Louisville game, Pat White's senior night. I mean, I drove through a freaking blizzard to be in that stadium. Yeah. White out. I mean, that is right up there. My wife may have seen, my wife. My <laughs> wife may have seen me teary eyed that night. So I, I thought we were going to see teary eyed. I swear, I heard that like he's quivering. Listen, <laughs> I told all you guys, the Mountaineers are the uncle I never had. Okay, they're my family. They are my family. Let's go but, back down a rabbit hole. Who we'll plans a wedding? Rants during the football season. Rants. My wife knows that if there's a wedding, birthday party, something during the football and basketball season on a Saturday, there's a good chance we are going to have a disagreement because I will put my foot down and not go. Uh, so that's just the way it is. The only thing I will usually miss a game for is my son's sporting events. And that shows you where my, maybe my priorities are if I won't go to somebody's wedding or birthday party, but I will go to my son's sporting events. We but know, I'm Pat White. We know Brad Wall. Oh, we're bringing it since. I missed an RV trip because I had to go to my sister in law's wedding to sing some JT, which you did say, I'm not singing at the wedding, but I will go. And then we saw your big, beautiful voice. <laughs> As the bride came down the aisle, you were there singing. I've been helping. It wasn't a crappy of the river. That'd be a bad wedding song. <laughs> no, it was a bad wedding song actually I don't have to worry about it I don't think she'll ever listen to this yeah what'd you say oh, you didn't it think your parents were going to listen to it either and they they listen yeah um what are you talking about I didn't think I was saying my parents <laughs> um I'm trying to think what that freaking song was it was one that um it was like so weird the lyrics were like people didn't people say we shouldn't be together but here we are type of stuff I was very weird and they're still married uh, as far as I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Pat White, Major Harris, give it to us. Right. Me? Yeah. Um, I'm Pat White, 100% all the way. Um, that was, I um, always you know, grew up watching and loving the Mountaineers, but that's whenever I really started to fall apart. Are you that much younger than all of us? Yeah, I am. 
I was in law school with you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was that was like I went to a lot of the games and um, you know Pat White, Steve Slayton, Slayton, Wayne Schmidt. That that was like I don't know. That was that was the highlight probably of being a Mountaineer fan so far for me. Yeah, those, those three years were unreal. Good good years. Yeah, good years. That's very clean sweep again. Okay. I mean, you can't you can't. I mean, I'm sorry, I love Major, but yeah, Pat kind of surpassed it with his winning. I think it's closer though. It is yeah, really like, close. Okay, you guys think it's closer. Oh no, it's really close. Okay. That's just I mean, we have been we have been pretty spoiled at the quarterback. Yeah, we have. We have for 